Webb adds another ringed world with new image of Uranus. Following in the footsteps of the Neptune image released in 2022, the NASA, ESA, CSA James Webb Space Telescope has taken a stunning image of the solar system's other ice giant, the planet Uranus. The new image features dramatic rings as well as bright features in the planet's atmosphere. The Webb data demonstrate the observatory's unprecedented sensitivity by revealing the faintest dusty rings, which have only ever been imaged by two other facilities. The Voyager 2 spacecraft as it flew past the planet in 1986, and the Keck Observatory with advanced adaptive optics. The seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus is unique. It rotates on its side, at a nearly 90-degree angle from the plane of its orbit. This causes extreme seasons since the planet's poles experience many years of constant sunlight followed by an equal number of years of complete darkness. Uranus takes 84 years to orbit the Sun. Currently, it is late spring at the northern pole, which is visible here. Uranus's northern summer will be in 2028. In contrast, when Voyager 2 visited Uranus it was summer at the South Pole. The South Pole is now on the dark side of the planet, out of view and facing the darkness of space. This infrared image from Webb's near-infrared camera, NIR cam, combines data from two filters at 1.4 and 3.0 microns, shown here in blue and orange, respectively. The planet displays a blue hue in the resulting representative color image. When Voyager 2 looked at Uranus, its camera saw an almost featureless blue-green ball at visible wavelengths. At infrared wavelengths, and with Webb's greater sensitivity, we see more detail, showing how dynamic the atmosphere of Uranus really is. On the right side of the planet is an area of brightening at the pole facing the Sun, known as a polar cap. This polar cap is unique to Uranus. It seems to appear when the pole enters direct sunlight in the summer and vanishes in the autumn. These web data will help scientists understand the currently mysterious mechanism behind this feature. Webb has revealed a surprising aspect of the polar cap, a subtle enhanced brightening at the center of the cap. The sensitivity of Webb's NIR cam and the longer wavelengths it can see may explain why we can see this enhanced polar feature of Uranus when it has not been seen with other powerful telescopes like the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope and the Keck Observatory. At the edge of the polar cap lies a bright cloud and a few fainter extended features can be seen just beyond the cap's edge. A second very bright cloud is seen at the planet's left limb. Such clouds are typical for Uranus at infrared wavelengths, and are likely connected to storm activity. This planet is characterized as an ice giant because of the chemical makeup of its interior. Most of its mass is thought to be a hot, dense fluid of icy materials, water, methane and ammonia, above a small rocky core. Uranus has 13 known rings and 11 of them are visible in this web image. Some of these rings are so bright as seen by Webb that when they are close together, they appear to merge into a larger ring. Nine are classed as the main rings of the planet, and two are the fainter dusty rings, such as the diffuse Zeta ring closest to the planet, that weren't discovered until the 1986 flyby by Voyager 2. Scientists expect that future Webb images of Uranus will reveal the two faint outer rings that were discovered with Hubble during the 2007 ring plane crossing. Webb also captured many of Uranus's 27 known moons, most of which are too small and faint to be seen here. The six brightest are identified in the wide view image. This was only a short, 12-minute, exposure image of Uranus with just two filters. It is just the tip of the iceberg of what Webb can do when observing this mysterious planet. Additional studies of Uranus are happening now, and more are planned in Webb's first year of science operations. Astronomers investigate X-ray spectral variability of active galaxy NGC 7582. Using ESA's XMM Newton and NASA's New Star Space Telescopes, astronomers have observed a nearby active galaxy known as NGC 7582. Results of the observational campaign, published March 30 on the Archive preprint server, shed more light on the X-ray spectral variability of NGC 7582's active galactic nucleus, AGN. An AGN is a compact region at the center of a galaxy, more luminous than the surrounding galaxy light. Studies show that AGNs are very energetic due either to the presence of a black hole or star formation activity at the core of the galaxy. Astronomers generally divide AGNs into two groups based on emission line features. 
Type 1 AGNs show broad and narrow emission lines, while only narrow emission lines are present in Type 2 AGNs. However, observations revealed that some AGNs transition between different spectral types. Therefore, they were dubbed changing look CL, AGNs. At a distance of some 73 million light years away from the Earth, NGC 7582 is a Type II Seyfert galaxy with a changing look AGN. The galaxy has a diameter of about 100,000 light years and a supermassive black hole at its core with a mass of about 55 million solar masses. Now, a team of astronomers led by Mehdi Lefkir of the University of Leicester, UK, have analyzed the available observational data of NGC 7582 obtained with XMM Newton and NuSTAR between 2001 and 2018. The main aim of their study was to explain the short and long-term X-ray behavior of this source. To study the variability, we perform a time-resolved spectral analysis using a phenomenological model and a physically motivated model, UX Clumpy. The spectral fitting is achieved using a nested sampling Monte Carlo method. Use Glumpy enables testing various geometries of the absorber that may fit AGN spectra, the researchers explained. It turned out that NGC 7582 exhibits a long-term variability between observations conducted by Lefkir's team but also a short-term variability in two observations that has not been studied before. The astronomers found that the long-term and short-term variability are due to intrinsic changes in the X-ray luminosity of the source, and changes in the absorption in the line of sight. According to the paper, this absorption is best described by a fully covering clumpy absorber. The researchers noted that the short-term variability of NGC 7582 could be explained by a spherical clump with a density profile peaking in the core and slowly decreasing towards the surface of the clump. The results suggest that the absorber is located at a distance not larger than 1.95 light-years from the X-ray source, moving with a transverse velocity exceeding approximately 700 km per second. Assuming that the absorber is a single cloud in the line of sight, the size of this cloud is estimated to be larger than 100 million km. All in all, the observations indicate the presence of a variety of cloud densities, or even a gradient in the density within a single cloud. This, according to the authors of the paper, favors a comet-shaped cloud scenario or at least a non-uniform cloud, 